Today's discussion, we're going to talk about supplements. If you're currently taking supplements, or maybe you're thinking about getting into buying supplements, whether that's for sports performance and you're an athlete, weight loss, energy, recovery, whatever, there are certain things that we can look for on the actual label of the supplement that ensures that we're getting what we're paying for, and two, it's not going to contain a banned substance. Let's just say if I'm a college athlete or professional athlete who gets tested on a yearly basis, a test is not going to show a positive. In fact, even on something that we bought over the counter, not knowing that it had something it wasn't supposed to have. So that's what we're going to talk about. So if you can see on the screen, you got about four different types of logos um, or what, I, what they call seals that they're going to get stamped on the actual product itself. So the, each one is a third party. So they're not aligned or associated with the actual manufacturer of the supplement. Um, but two, it's really expensive to get those seals onto the product. And I'll talk about that in a second. So if it has these seals on the product, we know that as consumers, the manufacturer or the, or the actual company that produces the, the supplements actually went the extra mile and spent a lot of money to get their products tested. So we as consumers know that we're getting what we're paying for. So it's a good sign and a good practice for companies that have these logos, because as consumers, we wanna make sure we're getting what we're paying for, all right? So we're gonna go over a little bit as far as what these, uh, these, these actual uh, seals do and what, what they actually mean. So the first one, you're gonna have all four um, different types of seals or different types of third-party companies. And the first question is, how do those companies uh, get the actual sample. Some companies are going to get it from the manufacturer itself, while other companies are actually going to go to random stores, buy it off the shelf, and test that product. So again, different types of uh, testing going on, not saying one's right or wrong, just different ways that they're gathering the product itself. Um, the second one is how often uh, does the, do these companies retest or spot check? So sometimes one to six times a year, um, another one is once a year using samples purchased in the store, another one once a year, and another one twice a year purchasing them in the store. So different time periods um, that these companies are actually using these products or buying these products and testing them, some a little bit more often than others. Um, the third one is how much do these manufacturers pay to have these products tested? So like I said earlier, it's extremely expensive. So smaller companies, newer companies are probably not going to be able to spend the money to test their products. That's why I always recommend with going with, with companies that have been around for a long period of time um, that don't have a bad reputation of, uh, of banned substances. So again, some of the, some of the costs are going to be anywhere from three to 15000 per product. So this is not total this is per product so if you're buying a creatine and a protein and a pre-workout all from the same company and you're buying them and they each have the seal that means they spent the three to fifteen thousand on each of those products so it's really can get really expensive but again as consumers we know that we're getting our money's worth and the company went the extra mile to actually pay a third party to test their products another one anywhere from three to five thousand same thing, about three to five thousand with a thirteen thousand dollar fee, um, and another one anywhere from two to eight thousand. So they all range depending on how often they're going to test and how much do they actually charge. Um, and the last one are their products; it won't test. So not they don't test every single product. So as you can see, some of them won't test weight loss uh, supplements. Some other ones might not test um, sexual enhancement types of products. So you just got to know what type of product you're buying. That way uh, you know what types of seals are relevant to that given product. All right? So now we're gonna look at, if you're, if you're a college or a professional athlete that gets tested and you wanna make sure you're not losing your scholarship, you're not getting you know, a four game suspension where you're losing out a lot of money, you wanna make sure you're getting what you're paying for. So there's two companies that I would highly recommend. They have some really cool apps and features that you can go to their website or download their app where you can actually scan the barcode and it can tell you if that product has been tested within their database. Literally, you can write down the batch number of that product and see what the results for that given test was. You can tell if it was underdose, overdose, are there any red flags on that given product. So it's really cool. So the first one is through NSF. So if you go to the NSF International website, it's a little blue uh, seal, it's NSF. Um, if you go to the website, you can actually download an app or, or go on their website and again, you can get the barcode scanner 
and you can scan the product and see if it's actually been tested and what the results were. So I think that's really cool if you're a high school, college, or professional athlete, or maybe you're a parent or a coach, you can have this product on hand or this app and make sure your guys and girls are getting tested their products and you can, hey, maybe this one's not something you wanna be taking. Uh, maybe there's this other supplement company that's a better, uh, better uh, idea to take because it's been tested by this company. So I think that's really cool. It's really easy to use. You just scan the barcode. So the next one is probably one of my favorites. Is, uh, is It's called the Informed Choice. Trusted by Sport, Informed, informedchoice.org. So again, they have a huge database where you can go on their website, you can find a product or search for a product, and it's gonna tell you exactly what the results were. It's gonna tell you if, again, they were underdose, overdose, any banned substances, so that it gets really detailed. This is the one I would probably more highly recommend if you're an athlete to go on this website and type in the product that you're currently taking and see if it's been tested. And if it hasn't, again, if you're an athlete who gets tested, I would stay away from that product and go for a product that we that you can ensure has what it says it has and it doesn't what it doesn't say it has. So if you're an athlete, I would go on either the NSF website or the Informed Choice. These are two really, really great tools and databases that, that can ensure you're not gonna get drug tested and show positive for something you probably had no idea that the, your product that you're taking, especially if you bought it just over the counter, you would think it would be safe, but you'll be surprised what the statistic, which is really high on supplements containing things that they shouldn't contain. So again, uh, these are just kind of tools that you can go on these websites if you're an athlete, but I would, even if you're not an athlete, if you're just someone that's going to the gym, um, one, you just wanna make sure you're getting what you're paying for and you're not getting taken advantage of. And two, you wanna make sure you're not putting things in your body, um, especially if you have maybe a prior condition, maybe you have a liver condition or a health, some type of health condition, and that product has something that maybe uh, has, a, has an effect on the medication you're taking and could possibly you know, get you in a bad situation, make it really worse off as far as your, your health condition. So it's just easier to be safer than sorry. It doesn't cost you anything. These are free, uh, free uh, tools that you can use. Uh, but again, looking at the, uh, at the product itself, you can see that uh, this company, Dymatize, again, I don't make any money uh, from these companies, but uh, they have a seal, the NSF, and it, the GMP, Good Manufacturing pr uh, Practices. So again, this is that's another type of seal where they come into your facility and basically kind of make sure that it's clean and it's sanitary and things like that. So again, it has a seal. Um, you're going to see that, uh, again, uh, Dymatize, same company, where their protein powder actually has the informed uh, choice.org seal there. So if I'm a call, if I'm a strength and conditioning coach and I, you know, a, a parent or maybe a coach or an athlete comes up to me asking me, Hey, what's a good protein powder to take? Especially if I know the athlete is going to be drug tested, I'm only going to recommend companies that, that have that seal. And as a parent, this is something you should be looking for. If you're buying them at, you know, your stores at your GNC, or you're buying them online, make sure you have this logo and also make sure that it's the actual correct logo because there is some, uh, some things, some marketing scams going on where the company is making logos and printing them on that look very similar to these, but they're not, they're not tested. So they might you know, scribble something or put something on there that looks very similar. So it kind of dupes you into thinking it's testing when it's not. So make sure you know what it looks like, make sure it's, it's legit, but again, make sure you can go on the websites and actually look up the product, not just the barcode, but you can look at it from the, uh, the batch number. So you literally can see if that batch that you're taking has been tested and what the results were. So again, as a strength and conditioning coach, working with athletes um, and just general population clients, um, I'm really picky with what companies I recommend and I refer my clients to. Um, so I wanted to make this video to make sure you all understand the process of supplements because it's for, for a large number uh, of companies and products, it, it goes unregulated. So you gotta make sure you know what you're taking and, and you're just getting what you're paying for. I hate when people get taken advantage of. So one of the reasons I like making these videos is just to educate um, you all so you know what to look for. So again, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to uh, shoot me a, a comment below. You can uh, find me on my Instagram or find me on Facebook. My Instagram is probably my easiest way to communicate with me. Uh, my Instagram is coach underscore Jerry underscore, and that's Jerry with a J. 
Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to direct message me, um, but go ahead and follow because I'm going to be making more videos like this um, on my YouTube channel. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.